Hi, this is Kyle with Compare Computers. I'm here with a hands-on with the Microsoft Surface RT tablet. The Surface RT is a 10.6 inch clear type HD display running at 1366 by 768. It's a 5 point multi-touch touchscreen. It's running Windows RT, which is a variant of Windows 8 uh, designed specifically for ARM CPUs. Uh, one of the uh, benefits with the, sur the Surface RT and Windows RT is that Office 2013 Home and Student uh, RT is actually integrated into the OS, uh, so it comes with Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote uh, at no additional charge. This particular model is running a quad-core NVIDIA Tegra 3 CPU uh, with 2 gig of RAM, and this system has 32 gig of storage. There's also a 64 gig model available. You can supplement that built-in storage with external removable SD cards. Uh, cloud storage is also built into the OS, uh, so you can use uh, storage through SkyDrive or other services uh, to store your files in the cloud. You can also network the uh, tablet with any of the devices on your network. Uh, if you have home groups set up with Windows 7 or Windows 8 on another computer, you can share files with that or regular file sharing with other systems. One of the unique features with the Surface RT tablets is the removable protective keyboards that they have available. Uh, there's two keyboards that uh, Microsoft has created, the touch cover, uh, which is what is available in this system, and the type cover. The touch cover basically is a very, very thin uh, protective keyboard. Uh, it acts as a protective cover when it's closed. Uh, there's no moving components on this keyboard. Uh, it relies on uh, touch-based sensing uh, whenever you type. There's also a touchpad and a left and, and right click button uh, available at the uh, bottom of the touch cover. Uh, the type cover, however, has physical moving keys that depress when you press them. Uh, it's going to be somewhat similar to the keyboard on a laptop computer. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you here with uh, Word 2013, uh, the, the type cover. And uh, you can use it to uh, type uh, very quickly. It takes a little bit of getting, getting used to, but uh, you can really move along pretty fast once you get the hang of it. I'll go ahead and detach the keyboard here. You just simply pull apart. It's held in place uh, by some very strong magnets. Close the back lid here. And uh, if you wanted to use the tablet just on its own, uh, Windows 8 and Windows RT do have a built-in on-screen keyboard available as well. Go ahead and activate that. Uh, you can use it to type here. It's going to be a little bit slower going. Um, you can choose uh, a split keyboard if that's a little bit easier uh, you know, to use with your thumbs. And to reattach the keyboard, uh, it's very, very simple. Just pull it together here and it clicks back in place. We'll put the kickstand in the back, back out, and we're ready to go. Go ahead and take a look at some of the external connectors that are available on the tablet. Here we'll have the AC adapter connection. Uh, that's also a magnet-based connector similar to the uh, keyboard connection. There's a full-size USB port, a connection for an external HD display. On the top we have our power button, uh, speakers. Uh, there's a volume uh, adjustment uh, button here, a connector for an external set of headphones. Underneath the kickstand on the back is a micro SDXC uh, card slot that you can use for removable external storage. On the back of the tablet there's also a uh, high def uh, webcam and there's also a forward facing webcam as well. We'll go ahead and take a look at the Office 2013 that's available in Windows RT. Office 2013 is going to be fairly similar to 2010 and 2007. Uh, one of the main differences would be that the ribbon interface is minimized by default. So if you click on any of the tabs here, that will go ahead and expand out those options. If we click on File, that will give us options as far as uh, saving, printing, and creating new documents. If we go to Save As, we can choose SkyDrive. Uh, that's one of the new features to the 2013 suite. Basically, you can use that to upload and save and modify files to the cloud. You can configure privileges and access to your SkyDrive account, uh, so that way if there's files that you want to share or allow others to modify, you can 
restrict access to that information and collaborate on certain files. Uh, with the SkyDrive you can sync among different devices so if you have say a, a Windows phone, a desktop computer, and a Surface RT tablet you can sync uh, any of the information that you work on from any of those computers uh, to the cloud and that way you can work on the most recently modified version of the file from any of those systems. You can also uh, sync particular files so that way say on the Surface where you have a limited amount of storage space you don't want to sync your entire SkyDrive contents, you can select certain files to, to sync to this device as well. The Excel program is going to be fairly similar to the Excel 2010 and 2007. Again, the ribbon interface is minimized by default until you actually click on those tabs. And you'll see many of the same options here as far as sav saving the SkyDrive and, and other components. And PowerPoint is going to look uh, fairly similar as well. Go ahead and go back to the home screen here. One of the things that you'll need to keep in mind with the Surface RT tablet, since it's running Windows RT, is that the only applications that it will be able to run will be those that have been downloaded through the Microsoft Store. You won't be able to run uh, traditional desktop applications like you can in Windows 8 or previous versions of Windows. You can launch the Microsoft Store by clicking on the Store icon and you can scroll through the different categories here. Uh, there's a number of free applications as well as paid applications and it's going to be the main entry point uh, for any programs that you're going to be uh, running on this particular operating system. To navigate on the Surface RT tablet, uh, one of the main uh, means of navigation will be the Charms Bar. You can simply swipe in from the right to access the Charms Bar. Uh, that will give you features such as search, share, start, devices, and settings, and this would be available uh, no matter what program or application that you're running. If you click on start, uh, that will take you to the start screen. You can also click the home button here on the tablet. We'll go ahead and uh, swipe in from the left here, and we can configure uh, the screen real estate here by uh, adjusting this bar and let's say we've got some different programs that we want to swipe in uh, like Microsoft Music. Let's say we want to listen to some music while we're doing some work in Microsoft Word. Uh, you can basically utilize this to navigate uh, through your playlists, uh, skip tracks, and, and uh, play different music from there. And to move it back, you can just swipe back in. If you're in Internet Explorer, uh, let's say you wanted to navigate to a different website, you can swipe down from the top, uh, brings up the uh, app commands and your tabs. Uh, you can type in an address into the address bar here and uh, navigate from there. Um, as you type in, it will do a search and uh, give you different search options as well as your favorites and pin sites. And to scroll, we'll just simply move up and down. and to switch between different uh, applications that we have, we can swipe in from the left side and cycle through those very quickly. And that will cover our basic hands-on tutorial with the Microsoft Surface RT tablet. If you have any questions or if you'd be interested in purchasing a Surface RT tablet, feel free to uh, visit our website at comparecomputers.net or give us a call. Thanks!